I'm going to introduce you to Zsculpt, which allows a new sculpting approach. Since we give access to a dozen of functions with a combination of keys and mouse buttons, the artists using this tool mostly get eight times faster. I recommend using the tablet so you can take the full potential of this plugin. So here's a sneak peek. Before starting, please make sure that the plugin is correctly loaded within the plugin manager. It's important that the file we have will be in the proper location. I will post a link below in the description of this video so you can have more detailed information about the installation. You will find everything you need on the website. So you first select the mesh, then launch this command. The Python and MelScript commands are on the website as well. This will be a great idea to make a shortcut from that since you will use it quite often. Here we're going to draw some splits through all the edges that the cursor will cross during the drag. As soon as you release, the splits will be applied onto the mesh. Hold left click during the process until you're done. Open GI function calls will display a yellow indicator. We set a default accuracy value to this method. If for some reason you need a better precision, please do not hesitate to zoom in. You have the option to cut in the middle of edges by holding the left mouse button again, but then press control key to activate that option. A reddish indicator will be shown for that purpose. You can also collapse these edges by holding control then left click. Hovering over these components will show them as red, which means they are ready to be collapsed. All the method focused on reducing the amount of steps so you can speed up your workflow. For deleting edges, hold control then press middle mouse. Repeat the process as much as needed. Merging points is a reoccurring task. As a click saver, this tool will merge all the vertices you will hover if you hold shift and then left mouse button. Release for ending the process. For the sake of simplicity, we've implemented our own move tool. The artist will not have to switch to another tool since all the necessary functions are easy to access with keys combination. For doing so, drag the vertex with the middle mouse button. Use it in a perspective or a camera to get an expected result. Because the manipulator has a small radius influence, the point at the center is moving alone. The influence radius is too small. Feel free to increase that radius by holding shift, plus the middle mouse button, then dragging the mouse horizontally until you're satisfied with the blue circle radius. These values will be saved permanently throughout the Maya sessions. As expected, now the center point is moving with the surrounding vertices. Furthermore, you have the ability to smooth the surface by holding control shift, then middle mouse button. As before, you can change the radius of the smooth function by holding shift and moving vertically while holding the middle mouse button. The outside circle stands for the smooth radius and the inner one the strength of the smooth function. For more strength, the smooth intensity can be modified by holding control and the middle mouse button. Now you can drag the mouse for setting its value. Let's create some polygons. For doing so, I'm going to extrude an edge. I'm holding the control and shift, and while dragging with the left mouse button on the edge, this one gets extruded. As you can see, it's not yet created. As long as you don't release the button, you can interact with its angles. It helps to avoid distortions and preserve some nice shapes during the creation. The orientation degree is specified with the number on the top left. While creating new polygons, we made the process easier. Anytime the newly created edge will touch another one, it will be merged automatically. Again, you need to save clicks to focus on the essentials, your art. Maya has made some changes in its API for the Viewpoint 2.0. For technical reasons, we decided to support only legacy default and high quality for now. A support of the Viewport 2.0 is not yet available, but will be launched soon. To get updates, please subscribe to the newsletter. Most of the functions work with the components found in the cursor. The backface culling has to be turned on the algorithm so it will not get confused. Otherwise, you will have unexpected results. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe for updates and please visit the website.